Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. How are you? How are you? Back Yo, in action. Good evening. good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, Mario. Hello, David. Hello, Carlos. Hi, Ceci. Hello, Doris. Hello. How are you, Angel? Are you ready? Yes. Ready. I said, are you ready? No, no, yo creo que ready. no me escuchan. Espérame, voy a ver si está conectada esta cosa porque yo creo que no me escuchan. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Ok, one more time, one more time. Are you ready? That's right. Teacher. Ok. All right, cool. Ready. Okay, let's make this happen. How are you today? How do you feel today? Ah, Tired? Empezó. Yeah. Okay. That was weird. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember? What did we practice yesterday? ¿Qué se acuerdan? ¿Qué estuvimos viendo? Preposition place. That's right. Prepositions of place. For example. On. That's right. On. Uh, on Boulevard uh, Constitución. Uh, okay. On. Uh-huh. Sorry. Across from. Across from, for example. Between. No, no, give me an example with across from. Ah, across from the, across from the Plaza Mundo Mall. Okay, across from Plaza Mundo Mall, very good. For example, Walmart is across from Plaza Mundo Mall. It's from Plaza Mundo That's right. Okay, so that was yesterday's class. We were looking at prepositions of place. Uh, today, we are going to go ahead and move on. We're going to get started because you got to do the midterm exam next week. So we have to accelerate. Okay. Thank you, Ceci. Lo siento mucho, Ceci. ¿Qué le pasó a Ceci? Triste, pues acaba de morir mi suegra. Oh, se murió su suegra. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. Today, today. Today. Ah, oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. My dearest condolences. Eso quiere decir mis más grandes pésame. My dearest condolences. I see. My dearest condolences. Mi más grande pésame. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and look at the first section that we're going to be looking at today. Now, for the first section, we're going to be doing the knowledge check. Yesterday, we were analyzing the prepositions of locations on, across, from, between, etc., etc. So today, we're going to be looking at the knowledge check, which is look at the map, mira el mapa, and listen to the audio y mira el audio, escucha el audio program to answer the questions. Para contestar las preguntas. The first question is, repeat please, where are they going? Where are they going? Repeat please. Where are they going? Where are they going? Where are they going? Okay, ¿a dónde van ellos? <coughs> So, you're going to listen to the conversations, va a escuchar las conversaciones, 
and identify where are they going. Love's department store, the bank, Maria's restaurant. Are you ready? Okay, let's listen, please. Listen, please. Page 89, exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. All right. Uh, do you want me to repeat the audio? ¿Quieren que repita el audio? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, I will repeat yes. the audio one more time. Page 89, exercise 6, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. All right, are you ready? Okay, number one, buen dia, David, buen dia. Number one, where are they going? Uh, sorry, buen dia, lo tiene en silencio. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, este, sí, uh, on the bank. The bank, all right. Bank. Thank you, Mr. Buen dia. Buen dia, select somebody, please. Um, Ceci. Ceci, number two. Ceci, number two. Drugstore. Drugstore. Davis Drugstore. It's la farmacia. All right, Ceci, select somebody. And 
Angel. Angel, Angel, number three. Where are they going? Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. All right, select somebody. Angel. Carlos Mendez. Carlos Mendez. Carlos Mendez. Hi. Eh, espéreme, Carlos, dame un segundito. Esta es Carla Mejía, ¿verdad? La que dice Huawei. Rename. Ok, go ahead, Carlos Méndez. Uh, sería Lux Department Store. Lux Department Store, let's check. Oh, uh, no, uh, it's not Lux Department Store. It is Maria's Restaurant. Yes. Tampoco. Favorite shoes. That is correct. Favorite shoes. So we got number one, the bank. Number two, Davis Drugstore. Number three, Maria's Restaurant. Number four, her favorite shoe nice. store. Okay. Deme un segundo, chicos. Le voy a cambiar el nombre aquí a Huawei. Se llama Carla Mejia. All right. Ahora ya sabemos quién es. All right. Any questions referring to the vocabulary in this section? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca del de vocabulario que vimos en esta sección? No. No questions? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is look at the following section, which is 3.8. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo pedir y dar direcciones. Además, practicará una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario real. Okay, uh, directions and conversation. Is it far from here? ¿Quién me puede decir qué quiere decir la pregunta? Is it far from here? ¿Qué quiere decir? Levante la mano. Está lejos de aquí. Correct. Mario. Ding, 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 ding. That's right. Está lejos de aquí. Eso es exactamente lo que quiere decir. Everybody repeat please. Is it far from here? Is it far from here? Pero quiero que escuchen la intonación. Pongan la atención a la intonación. Is it far from here? Is it, is it far from here? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? Right. Quiero que escuchen que es un poco cantadito al final. Is it far from here? Is it far from here? That's right. Okay. Let's listen, please. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. To learn how to ask for Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up 5th Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? 
Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on Forty Second Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on. Turn right on. On the right. On the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library. For that we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So, in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the map. Vamos a ver el mapa. And I want you to look at the discussion forum. Right here. This section over here. And I would like for you to give me a little conversation. Me van a dar una pequeña conversación. Van a darme una conversación como que una persona eh, está viendo este mapa. The first eh, que está en New York, eh, Empire State Building, Bryant Park, New York Public Library, Grand Central Terminal, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Rockefeller Center. All right. Y van a eh, actuar o van a dramatizar como que si están perdidos en New York. Como que es un turista, digamos. Y le va a preguntar, eh, disculpe, ¿a dónde está Brian Park? Y usted, vamos a usar el punto de referencia número uno, que es el Empire State Building. Ok, so you're going to think like you are in Empire State Building. 
and you are looking for Bryant Park, New York Public Library, etc. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? All right, we're going to work in pairs. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to complete this activity. You're going to have 10 minutes to complete this activity. 10 minutes. Ready? Let's go. 10 minutes. Right now. I'm going to put you in pairs so that you can help each other. We're going to put, uh, I'm going to put, Ceci will work with William Rosales. Carla Mejia is going to work with Elmer. David Buendia, I want you to work with Lydia. Jay Angel, you're going to work with Mario Moran. Abigail, you're going to work with Doris. And Ada is going to incorporate with uh, let me see. All right, Ada, you're going to be working with... Uh, Ada Ramirez is going to work with Gladys. Uh, Carla Rojas is going to work with Carlos Mendez. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go! Nos fuimos, nos vamos, nos fuimos, nos vamos. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mario, no se ha ido. Ada, Lidia, Abigail, Gladys. Let's go, let's go. Ada, Lidia, Abigail, Gladys. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. No entran, vámonos. Ada, Lidia, let's go, let's go. Gladys, vámonos. Gladys, let's go. All right. Vamos a ponerlo con número tres. Ok, Gladys ha entrado. All right, Carla Rojas with Carlos Mendez. Ada is going to be over here with Ceci and William. Ahí está. Gladys Merino, hello. El en place, eh, el, este, stay, ajá, el número uno, digamos. Sí, ajá, exacto. Entonces, que como que uno estuviera perdido ahí y quiere llegar a, al Patrick, a, 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 a la catedral, por decirle así. Sí, sí, pero van a escribir los diálogos. Van a escribir los diálogos aquí en el discussion forum. O sea, como que yo estuviera perdido, digamos, en, en el número uno. That's right. Y le pregunto a William cómo hago para llegar a, a Patrick Catedral. That is correct. That is correct. Pero lo van a hacer escrito, lo van a escribir en el discussion forum.